Hi, I am Michelle and welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collective Soul Journey. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I could not grow this channel without you. This guided meditation video is broken down into five smaller videos. One, energy frequency laws that govern universal energy. Two, knowledge is power. Three, your soul and frequency, 639, 741 hertz. Four, timelines and the quantum field. Five, the blue moon guided meditation. In this video, you will learn about five of the many laws that govern universal energy, what they are and how they can work for you. The tools to have on hand when you are working with energy for transmutation and transformation. This is video one of five. At DIY Affiliate Soul Journey YouTube is a self-actualizing and awakening collective soul journey channel to help the collective consciousness and awareness grow in knowledge and spiritual growth. Learn about chakras, subtle energy bodies, portals, the twin flame journey, angel numbers, the awakening, and much, much more to help you to live in the now, this present moment. This is unlimited thinking, unconditional love, growing and transformation, understanding, we create and manifest our own reality. This video series was created in preparation for a guided meditation, setting intentions to harness the energy of a supermoon, blue moon, that is happening on August 30th. You have quite a few days to practice until you can tap into one of the strongest supermoon energy flows of the blue moon. You can meditate on the night of the full moon or within a day or two before or after. Again, the 29th, 30th, 31st. A couple of tools to work with. A quiet place where you can relax and not be disturbed. A book or journal to write your intentions in. Cleansing sage or palo santo. A lighter, a metal bowl. If you want your own ancient sofa shell healing frequencies, the link is in the description. This video in the first part will be playing at 741 hertz. Understanding that we are working with the laws that govern universal cosmic energy. How to create the matching frequencies to your desired outcomes. Using the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome. We live in a world of frequencies, sounds, tones, energies. We need to get into the universal flow of abundance. We mostly know the laws that govern our 3D realities energies. We need to know the laws that govern universal energy. This is knowledge that is hidden in plain sight. We will use elements of the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome by tapping into and using only five of the many universal laws that govern universal energy. Here is a quick little tutorial. Are you ready? The first law we tap into is the law of divine oneness. The first and most foundational law of the universe is the law of divine oneness, which highlights the interconnectedness of all things. It says that beyond our senses, every thought, action, and event, that this is some way connected to anything and everything else. By watching this video, you and I are now connected to everything and everybody we know and they know and so on and so forth. Remember the law of attraction. Your thoughts, your words, your actions in energy form will attract the exact same energies into your life. Positive, inspiring thoughts attract positive, inspiring manifestations into your life. Now flip the script. Negative, uninspiring thoughts will bring negative manifestations into your life. We are flowing with positive, inspiring thoughts or flowing with the opposite. The Law of Vibration Everything in the universe is in motion, vibrating at its own specific frequency. Even our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs vibrate at their own frequency, and there is a mathematical sacred knowledge at play. There it is, that word again, frequency. So now we are immersed in the frequencies. We are at the right frequency to communicate with the angels and make a connection with the frequency of the moon energy to create this path for energy to flow. Our thoughts, our focus, our words, our actions will bring the exact same energies manifesting into our life. The universe will try to bring you what your energy is asking for, which has a lot to do with emotions and the vibrational frequency they are transmitting, which brings us to the law of gratitude. Now we will be working with the most powerful, 
lot, giving thanks from your heart, your soul. If your soul has come online and you are growing closer and closer to the creator of all. Gratitude is talked about a lot in all areas of the world, through organizations, institutions, and traditions. When you give heartfelt thanks, the energy flows from your heart and activates certain responses from other people as well as the universe. This energy that is flowing is now becoming magnetic. And through the law of attraction, unconditional love, and magnetism, and what you are feeling in your emotions of gratitude, you are raising your frequency higher and you are now tapping into the law of gratitude. You are almost ready to send this energy you have created outside of your body to the universe, attracting what you are back to you. Wow, this is powerful. But we have one more law that governs our universal energies that we are always using. This is part of our daily lives that we live in. So why not live by the law? After all, most of the physical laws of this world we obey. If we did not obey the physical laws of this world, we could end up in jail. So now this comes to as above, so below. Well, what is the meaning of as above, so below? This is the principle of correspondence. This embodies the truth that there is always a correspondence between the laws and phenomena of various planes of being and life. The problem we face as a collective is we do not know these laws exist in some cases. And that is why I am mentioning just the five I use in the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome. And anybody can do it. Now, I have a disclaimer. I am not responsible for anything you manifest into your life. It was created with your thoughts, words, and actions. Just learning about the different universal laws that govern the world's energies. Just the same as the law of attraction controls the energies we create to attract what we are back to us. The next law is so important. Ever hear the expression, you will get karma, or you reap what you sow? This is your karma that you are creating in your life. And now we are talking about the law of cause and effect. The universal law of cause and effect states that for every effect, there is a definite cause. Likewise, at every cause, there is a definite effect. The law of cause and effect, there is an effect straightforward. Or like Newton's third law, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you move your hand through the air, you are causing molecules in the space around your hand to respond. We are all governed by a chain reaction of events from a cause. We are all subject to the universal law of cause and effect or effect and cause. Once the cause is created, it sets off a chain of events like a set of dominoes, each one knocking the next one down to a point that we cannot even comprehend where this will end up. And we have created this rippled out effect. With many more causes and effects, it's never ending. There was always a cause, always an effect. That is what makes this law of universal energy the toughest one to adhere to. All our thoughts, actions and deeds, all movements, affect the entire universe. Everything in the universe is connected and is relative. Nothing is separate. So if you even move your hand and wave it back and forth, you are moving the space that surrounds your hand and that space is connected to all space within the infinite universe. Therefore, even inanimate objects of the universe are all connected within the same space and occupy the exact same space or mind. There is no separation. So if you move your hand, you're moving the space which is connected to everything. And now you have created a cause. Everything in the universe starts with a cause. Take your thoughts, for instance. Your thoughts are the cause of what you manifest into your life. When you see your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, as well as your emotional state of mind for what it really is, in most cases, how it can control your life. Is it that we are on autopilot almost 95% of the time for some people? So, what does this have to do with the law of cause and effect? Your thoughts are the primary cause to everything in your life. Through the laws that govern universal energy, learn how to have control over your thoughts. Control your thoughts and choose what the effect is going to be. Are you doing good? Do you have good intentions and do good deeds? Or the thoughts effect is not good and not good intentions. This affects your energy you are creating and causes you to have karma to work off in this lifetime or the next. Okay, so now we are talking about the soul, of course. And you can create karma in any lifetime. So now you know the basic knowledge about a few of the laws that govern universal energy. During the meditation, we will focus on har harnessing or channeling this cosmic energy for healing, abundance, and setting intentions 
using elements of the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome, which is broken down to the five laws that I just talked about that govern universal energy, and there are many more, plus believing, plus visualizing, plus feelings, and plus action equals manifesting a desired outcome. And it is also known as an algorithm of success for desi successful desired outcomes. The full moon supermoon is a potent time for meditation and harnessing the moon's energy and also increasing your intuition and releasing old habits and cycles that no longer serve your life, transmutation and transformation. This has been video number one of a five-part video series. Please stay tuned, stay connected, and tap into video number two.